so glad to be here. This is one of my favorite days. It's one of my favorite weeks as Girl Scout I get so excited. I enjoy the opportunity to visit with your elected officials when they come to the state capitol. And you know, I just really, I'm not much of a prophet, but I just have a feeling that before you girls graduate from uh, high school, Girl State will not be the only place that has a female governor in Oklahoma. <laughs> will be measured 
by the answers to four questions. First, were we truly men and women of courage? Second, were we truly men and women of judgment? Third, were we truly men and women of integrity? And finally, were we truly men and women of dedication? Courage, judgment, integrity, dedication. I'd like to share with you what some of our early American heroes and presidents had to say about these topics, just briefly. Thomas Jefferson was once quoted in saying about courage, that one man with courage makes a majority. Well, I'm a little more optimistic than that. I think there are many women of courage who are here in this room tonight. Andrew Jackson said of judgment, take time to deliberate, and when the time for action arrives, stop thinking and go in. <coughs> Of integrity, there's probably no one more fitting to quote than George Washington. And he said, I hope I shall possess firmness and virtue, enough to maintain what I consider the most enviable of titles, the character of an honest man. And of dedication, Abraham Lincoln said, the probability that we may fail in the struggle ought not to deter us from the support of a cause we believe to be just. Courage, judgment, integrity, dedication. These are important virtues, and you have practiced them while you have been here this week. You see, I don't think Girl State is about winning. It is a goal. It is something that is achieved. But that's not what Girl State is about. And I think one of your, either your lieutenant governor or your governor said as much in their, in their speeches. I think Girl State is about participating. It is about learning. It is about celebrating. And then it's about taking it all home. Girl State is about participating. You have discovered the democratic, how it works, how the democratic process works as you have caucused as you have selected candidates, as you have run for office, campaigned for others, as you have elected officials, and how you will still have an opportunity to prepare and debate your own legislation. You see, democracy is not a spectator sport in the United state. You dive in, you get busy. It allows us, and I would say even more so, it requires us to engage and to participate. And what I heard, from the young women you sent to the state capitol today is that they are so impressed and in awe of the entire membership of Girl State and how you have engaged and participated this entire week. Girl State is about learning. It's about learning civic responsibility. It's your responsibility, it's your opportunity, and it is your duty to exercise your right to vote and to learn how you really can make a difference. Girl State is an opportunity to learn how to form good relationships. You have had great speakers, you have great facilitators, you have a great Girl State staff, and you have great counselors. It is important for you to soak up the knowledge that they have to share with you, the experiences that they have had. Learn from them. Take advantage and network. One year, my first year in the Lieutenant Governor's office, counting myself, there were nine employees. Of those nine, five of us had either been boys' state or girls' state. I thought that was pretty awesome. I wasn't surprised. I wasn't why I hired them, but I wasn't surprised as I got to know them better that those skills and interest and enthusiasm, uh, I'm sure we all had in common because we had been to girls' or boys' state. One of those women last year told me as a girl state that she still keeps in touch with some of the girl staters that she had met now nine years ago. The day I moved into the dorm on this campus for college, the first five people I met unloading the car or on the elevator were girls that I remembered from Girl State. Not necessarily that they were in my city or people that I had spent time with, but I recognized them. And all of a sudden, the university campus didn't seem quite so big. Just two weeks
weeks ago, Saturday would be two weeks ago, I was attending a banquet in Tulsa, the Oklahoma Foundation for Excellence. And before the banquet started, a woman came up to me and, and I got up to, um, so I was seated and she talked to me and she said, Jerry, I'm Janet Heath. And I went, oh my gosh, she was the mayor of my girl state city. <laughs> now it had been more than a couple of decades since I'd seen her. But I was ecstatic. We were good friends at Girl State, and I was so pleased that she still considered that connection important enough to remember and to come up and make sure I knew she was there. Of course, we exchanged emails, and, and it's exciting to know that that friendship has been renewed. You see, Girl State gives you an opportunity, like some other organizations you've been in, but this one is strictly for young women. It gives you an opportunity to fight against the good old boy system by starting your own good old girl network. And it's important. Third, Girl State is about celebrating patriotism. And for me, it is not a surprise that Girl State occurs during the week of Memorial uh, Day. After attending Girl State, I can tell you that I never ever looked at either the American or the Oklahoma flag the same way as I had before I came. And I promise you, it doesn't matter where you go, you may forget the motions a while, but you know, you can see I caught that on pretty quick. And you will never ever, ever see Oklahoma as much, but you will never see it again and not think of Girl State. I can promise you. But I can tell you, things I learned during Girl State still stay with me today. Every time I hear the national anthem, and it doesn't matter what the forum is in which the flags are presented and our anthem is sung, I hope, I hope that the same will be true for you. This week promotes patriotism and pride in our country and our state. That's why we so appreciate the American Legion Auxiliary for continuing what, this, what we call this laboratory in democracy. Their efforts to promote patriotism and responsible citizenship give hope and promise that the American ideals and principles of democracy will carry on through another generation, will carry on through youth. Celebrating patriotism allows us an opportunity to renew and to show appreciation for our military, to show respect for the men and women of our armed services who put themselves in harm's way every day to give us the freedoms that we enjoy and that we exercise as Americans. But what happens after you leave here Saturday is up to each of you. So I hope that Girl State will also be about taking it home, a takeaway from here. I hope you take home a new appreciation for the diversity, the unique gifts that you discover in each other here. I hope you will take home the inspiration of the women that you have met and worked with, and I especially hope that you will recognize your opportunities as a mentor, as a role model to the youth in your communities. Not everyone gets to be a girl stater. Not everyone in your high school that wanted to get to come was selected to be here. You were chosen. You were given the opportunity. So I think that taking it home also means giving it back. We hope that you will accept the responsibility and remember the lessons that you learned here, the renewed sense of pride in our nation and our state, and that you will be the example to those younger women who will follow you, who will follow your example when you exercise citizenship and patriotism wherever you may be. We hope it will be in Oklahoma, but wherever you are, these lessons go with you. As Lieutenant Governor, I serve as Oklahoma's Chair of the Tourism Commission. And in 2007, as you all know, Oklahoma celebrated its centennial. And it was a chance for us to show pride in the first 100 years of our heritage and of this great state. Well, Girl State is about every day expressing pride in our heritage and encouraging vision for the future. Girl State is intense, it's exhausting, it's exhilarating, but man, you lead with such renewed skills or perhaps honing skills that you have really had. You are prepared now to be a responsible participant in exercising your civic duty 
and determining what Oklahoma and yes, what I think even America's future is going to be. You see, I really and truly believe that if we thought of Oklahoma as a building, a multi-story building, then that first 100 years of Oklahoma, my generation really kind of put the roof on it because we're the ones who are in leadership roles at the time that we finished that first 100 years. And our responsibility as we go forward is that we lay a solid foundation for the next 100 years. But we're not going to know. We're not, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to know what that 100 years is going to look like. Because you see the blueprints and the plans and the framework and the structure, you're the generation that's going to build that. You're the ones who are going to have that opportunity to decide exactly what you want your community, your state, and I think some of you even the country to be like. About 15 years ago, I was in an Oklahoma hotel and I think there was a student council conference going on. And some high school students walked by from one school and they all had matching t-shirts on. And I really liked what their t-shirt said and I remembered it and spoken about it on more than one occasion. And their t-shirts said, we are the leaders we've been looking for. We are the leaders we've been looking for. I was reminded about that not too long ago as I was reading in a journal about the leadership gap that is about to be created as baby boomers who are currently the leaders in industry, in government, in philanthropy. As the baby boomers begin to retire, there is a fear that there is a leadership gap that will be created. But I'm not very worried. Girl State offers the challenge to bridge that gap. And as I look around this auditorium, it is easy for me to say, participate, learn, celebrate, take it home, because you are the leaders we've been looking for. Thank you and congratulations.